Noon authorities are accusing a Natarita man of murder 25 years after a Nucla man named Dale Williams disappeared. Our Timber Schumann takes a look at the investigation and what an arrest affidavit reveals. I have signed off on that affidavit and we did have probable cause to make the arrest. Interim DA for the 7th Judicial District Jessica Wagner states James Daniel Bishop has been arrested for murder in the first degree over 20 years after Dale Williams' disappearance. Filing of charges is set for October 29th, but how has this quarter century old cold case finally made a breakthrough? Is there more to the story? Let's dig deeper. 42 year old Dale Williams was a longtime resident in Dukla, Colorado. He owned and operated a an auto body shop as well as um, some other things throughout the town. He was working at his auto body shop when he got a call from a female asking for help with her vehicle near the town of Bedrock about half an hour away. On his way out of Nucla, family market employee Katie Squire says an old co-worker saw William stop in. When he was working, that this was the last place that they saw Dale before he went off and then that was the last known place. A family swimming at the confluence of the Dolores and San Miguel Rivers discovered Dale's truck submerged underwater. A 22 caliber rifle laid in the bed of the truck. According to the affidavit, the ATF found the rifle was purchased at the Nucla True Value Hardware Store on March 16, 1996 by James Daniel Bishop. Bishop was known to show some resentment towards Dale before his disappearance. The affidavit confirmed Bishop was resentful because of Dale and his wife's close relationship. Williams had found torn up photos and 22 caliber bullets scattered on the ground at his business. She also discovered a 22 caliber gun in the drop box of the video store his wife worked at. After his disappearance, Bishop was seen taking down missing posters of Williams in the post office. Furthermore, Williams and his wife helped Bishop's wife secretly move away to get out of her and Bishop's relationship. In CBI's interview with Dan Bishop before his arrest, he claimed he did not kill Dale. According to the affidavit, he also switched his story and timeline around several times after authorities caught him in lies. The last page reads, these acts would require more than one person to complete following the murder of Dale Williams. So who else is involved? Bishop's cousin, Veldon Barnes, could be tied to the case because of a Corvette. Dan Bishop and Veldon Barnes, who's now deceased, are known to have been outside of Dale's shop when he left May 27th. Bishop had given his prized Corvette to Veldon, a criminal arrested several times before, who then drove it back to Grand Junction, then to Colorado Springs to sell it later on. So who pulled the trigger that fateful day? Some of the details may be washed away, but authorities believe Dan Bishop is guilty. Um, had a lot of time, a lot of effort into this case. Timber Schumann, Care X. Thanks, Timber. Authorities have not directly stated if they believe Veldon was the one who shot Williams. But a line from the affidavit says authorities, quote, asked Dan directly if Veldon killed Dale Williams, and he replied, I believe that he did.